Hey everyone, my name is Gilberto, and we are back again with this Mono Steel team, and we we have had kind of a rough time with it, but a lot of it's been just being straight up unlucky. Uh, so let's see here. I don't know. We have a Tyranitar, Talonflame, Sceptile, Crocodile, Aegislash, and Quagsire. So right away. Two ground types and a fire type and and a mon with access to earthquake. So this is not looking that great, and it's and that could possibly a fucking sacred sword age of slash for all I know. So this is uh, not the best team comp to go against. However. I feel like I gotta bring Steelix to take advantage of that, uh, Sand Force. And I feel like... Well, I need the Heatran for the Talon Flame on, obviously. And then other than that, I think I... Uh, yeah, I probably really need Skarmory for the, uh, the Crocodile. So yeah, I'm gonna rock out with that. I'm going to... I'm gonna lead Steelix. Bring the Heatran, bring the Skarmory. Confirm that, let's go. Let's go. Uh, I mean, the team preview does not look that favorable for me, but I think all we need is just is just a is just a solid player two, and we can pull this off. We can pull this off. We just need a couple plays. Uh, and we see the the lead crocodile. So, okay, I get intimidated, right? And normally I would just stay in if I wasn't intimidated. But the fact that I am really just makes me want to go out into the Skarmory. And this Crocodile can't really do much against my Skarmory, I don't think. Um, knockoff isn't going to do the biggest amount. Uh, I'm immune to Earthquake. Don't I, Actually, don't I resist? No, I don't resist knockoff. Never mind. Um, but yeah, and Stone Edge is neutral, I'm pretty sure. So there's not really much that this thing's going to do, I don't think. Goes for the knockoff straight away. Um, yeah, knocks off my Citrus Berries. The biggest deal in the world. And I'm just going to Toxic. I'm going to get a Toxic off on something. Uh, unless he goes into Aegislash, which is really unlikely, then something is about to get toxic on this team. Uh, this could be his chance to bring in Talonflame. Um, if he has it, and chances are he does have the Talonflame. But I got that powerful uh, Toxic on the, on the Talonflame. But no, uh... Yeah, then obviously the, my only move is to go into, into, into the Heatran. But like I said, um, we just gotta make a couple plays. We just gotta make a couple plays. Right, out comes the Talonflame. So, I get the Toxic off, and it's pretty obvious what I'm about to do. It could take the opportunity to Sword Stance, but even with the Sword Stance up, I don't see how you touch Heatran. I don't see that. So, uh, I'm gonna make the obvious, the most obvious of all switches. And... I don't see what you do, other than... I don't know, maybe you're a support Talonflame setting up a Tailwind? Goes for the U-turn, yeah, I should have seen that coming. I really should have seen that coming. So, I've now revealed the squad, but chances are you're about to reveal the squad too, unless you want to bring the Crocodile back in, but then I just bring Skarmory back in, and the Crocodile is not going to do much to me. Once I swap into the Skarmory, and I can always roost up. But then we're really playing mind games when the Talon Flame comes back. Yeah. Okay. So I'm I'm obviously gonna swap into the Skarmory, and this is where the real mind games happen, actually. But there's not really much that I can do. I mean, I mean, if he wants to call, if he wants to call my swap, then he, then I'm, then I'm about to get pro played. If he wants to swap into the, into the, no, so, no, no, he would definitely outspeed me. So he doesn't. He doesn't try to proclaim me yet, at least. But I'm gonna just eat this knockoff real quick, like. 
And what I'm going to do actually is predict... Well, if I really wanted to predict the Town Flame coming in, then I would... Brave Bird, maybe? But no, I think I, I think I really need this Skarmory, so I have to preserve it with a Roost. I have to preserve it with a Roost. And... And, okay, so my thinking here, right... Is this guy is not... Somebody who's going who's gonna go for the pro plays, right? This guy seems to me like he's fine with making a somewhat obvious play. This, I mean, this guy just went for a knockoff, knowing that my Skarmory was gonna swap in, or I guess he didn't know that, which is why I did it, but. This really makes me think that he's going to U-turn again. And if he does U-turn again, then I Toxic. But do I, do I really make that play, though? Do I really make that play, though? I feel like I do. Man, I feel like I do. Or do I just Brave Bird? I'm going to Brave Bird, actually. I'm going to do that. Are you gonna- Oh, he called- He completely called my bluff and goes for the Flare Blitz. Uh, man. I really didn't think he was gonna make that play. I really did not think he was gonna make that play. This guy seemed like he was just making some pretty standard plays. But it's okay, it's okay. I'm gonna go into the Heatran and then double switch into... Actually, no, I don't have to double switch. I could just attack and get some damage off. Yeah, I'm gonna Fire Blast here. I was gonna say, I, I, I can uh, double into the... into the Steelix, but I don't really get much out of that, especially that I have... a prime Fire Blast opportunity. So go ahead and swap out. I'm, 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 I assume I'm gonna see the Crocodile. Right? Yeah, out comes the Crocodile. Intimidate doesn't matter. I'm, I'm actually really curious to see how much this Fire Blast does. Oh, but I don't... Oh, no. Well... Well, I think... I think that Flare Blitz on my, on my uh, Skarmory just won him the game. That just won him the game. Man, it really just did come down to that one call where I really thought I was doing the right thing by by staying in and brave birding cuz cuz I thought it was going to swap back into the crocodile. I should have mm, I don't know. I I really thought I was doing the right thing though. I really did. So, uh, it's, no, it's not heavy enough that Heavy Slim's gonna do anything, but Earthquake has a chance of doing something. I was gonna say, as soon as I clicked Earthquake, I was like, oh, is it, is it really gonna swap into Sound Flame? But no, it's really not worth it, I don't think. However, if it does let this Crocodile go down, then it has nothing to check my Heatran. Well, I mean, I don't know what the last Mon is. Oh man, that did pretty much nothing. If I had hit the Fire Blast, then this wouldn't be an issue, but this is an issue. This is a motherfucking issue. So, my Heatran is not going to be able to take... My Heatran is not going to be able to take a... Uh... An Earthquake at all. But if it did, I mean, maybe I should Scarf it or something. No, I shouldn't scarf it. Although maybe I should. I don't know. Is it really crazy to, to scarf a Heatran to, for, for some Earthquake users? If I had hit the Fire Blast, I had two chances to win this. If one of if either if one of those two things had been different, I would I would have won this match. I could have either a. Uh, not gone, not stayed in on that Town Flame. Or B hit a fucking fire blast. I had a chance. But, uh, oh well. In any case, 
Thank you so much for watching. We upload Battle Spot every dang day. We have new teams every dang week. And once again, thank you so much for watching. And I am once again out.